It's about uh, the crisis in general that it's affecting the whole of Europe. Well, it's mainly for Greece, but uh, we're trying to protest for everybody. It's a solidarity message because last Sunday they tried uh, to vote again uh, for the new measures and uh, the Greeks were trying to protest uh, against it because it's more cuts uh, for the basic salary of the, of the citizens in Greece and the new more, more measures that uh, they will make a lot of people suffer. Uh, so we're trying to pass a message because um, there were one million people protesting in Athens and they couldn't because of the tear gas and the police uh, being very aggressive. Mm -hmm. So now we're trying to pass a message of solidarity to Greece and to countries such as Spain and uh, Italy and Portugal because they're all suffering and to show that this is not something that's happening only in one country but it's affecting the whole of Europe. Even in, you know, uh, in the Netherlands they've started having uh, measures like with the cleaners, with the trams, they were, uh, they were um, firing people about a month ago uh, that they were working in the trams and in the buses, so it's affecting everyone. Now from history, uh, what happened before with these austerity policies by IMF? We have the examples from Brazil, from Argentina, from Ecuador, from Iceland, and uh, we already know that the only uh, solution is putting away the IMF and the austerity policies. They also they also know uh, what they are doing, and what they are doing is just a massive transfer of revenue from the workers to capital all over the world. They are, uh, they are reducing the wages, they are uh, destroying the welfare state, and they are benefiting uh, the banks everywhere. This is not a problem of Greece, it's not a problem of Portugal, it's in this moment a problem of Europe. As already has been said, in the uh, Netherlands, you have already also the same kind of policies, and in the next years, people will feel more strongly what this means. I also think that five years ago nobody would expect uh, the squares of Europe to be crowded of people protesting and demanding new policies. I think this is only the beginning. We are all together for a new economy. the rich people, they affect all the, the people of the middle class, that they have more reductions in their pensions, more reductions in their basic salary. So the middle class is gathered and uh, to pay for all the rest, which is of course not fair. We express our solidarity to the working students, unemployed persons in Greece who struggle against the heart of their life. We respond in the internationalist way since the austerity is global. But we are everywhere. Solidarity to the workers, we will win. Thank you. One struggle, one fight. Solidarity is our power. One struggle, one fight. Love, house and freedom are our rights. One struggle, one fight. Together we are stronger, one struggle, one fight. We never gonna give up, we never gonna give up, we never gonna give up. Our future, our hopes, our dreams, our homes. We never gonna give up, we never gonna give up, we never gonna give up, we never gonna give up. Thank you. I think it's great, there should be more people, but it's a beginning and uh, 
we shouldn't just sit down uh, on our sofas and watch TV because we, because, just because we are here and we are working, because other people are suffering and we are all together in this.